Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there Hunters, welcome back to the Gunners Guild. So today I want to quickly go over two other light bowgun builds that I kind of missed in my previous set video. One is that sort of it's my fault and the other one not so much my fault. So let's just take a look real quick. The first one which is my fault is the Frostfang Baroth light bowgun. It may be here by the time I get this video out, if it's not it might just be a few days away. It's close. Anyway, so originally when I was showing off this bowgun it stood out as a rapid fire ice bowgun, but after we looked through the recoil and reload tables it was shown that this thing can use spread 3 at recoil 1 with two recoil mods, which is fantastic actually. This means you can use two close range mods for a fat 30% damage boost, but you're unfortunately going to be stuck with slow reload. Now Stygian's Lipogon can also do this, but Frostfang gets a clip size 4 on its spread 3, while Stygian only has a clip 3. And that's basically the only thing this Lipogon's got going on for it, is that one extra clip size. However, one extra is a pretty fat amount. Comparing this to our current spread 3 light bowgun, which is the Drac Shot, there's not really too much of a difference. Drac Shot has like 10 more raw and a clip of 5 and gets true spare shot, while Baryoth has the clip of 4 with regular spare shot. So what you're really comparing here is the recoil 1 in a smaller clip versus the recoil 2 in a larger clip. And they're pretty much the same on paper. There's a difference of 5 in their effective total raw considering recoil, reload, spare shot, clip sizes, all that stuff. And the difference of 5 in a total of like 775 is under 1%. So basically, Frostwing Baryoth, the light bowgun, is equivalent to Safi Drag Shot for Spread 3. Now, that's also under ideal conditions. Frostfang's clip is smaller and shoots faster, so you're going to be reloading more frequently, which means you're going to have to find more openings to do that slow reload. So depending on the fight, Drag Shot may come out ahead, especially because True Spare Shot has more potential DPS with good Spare Shot RNG. So yeah, I mean, there is another option for Spread 3 at least. I don't want to skip on it because I'm going to be giving this bowgun a try when it comes out after my Latreon nonsense. Recoil 1 is very, very strong, and the burst potential may even out the frequent reloads if you can cause the claggers and staggers properly, and it just sort of fits in the chain, but that's more like meta speedrunner elitist nonsense. Anyway, so the next one is going to be Furious Rajang's Light Bogan, the Demon Lord Cannon. So this is more of a bug, and I mean, not even a bug, it's more of an accident. Now in previous patches, this one's normal threes uh, were on auto reload, but since the Electron update, now they have recoil one by default, which is crazy for a light bowgun and a level three ammo. And I say this is accidental here because the difference in the coding according to Death Cream is that 10 is auto load and zero is normal. So it looks like someone just kind of deleted a one. So yeah, it's kind of a bug. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay this way, but for now, uh, it's pretty dang solid. Now, since this thing did have auto load normal threes, it has a clip size of one and you get two with free element, which is a pretty bad trade because you need all three ranks of it. Even with recoil one by default, clip size two is pretty bad. But this means you have two setups you can run with. You can either run two close range mods and two reload mods to have normal reload or two evade mods to have evade reload for those two clips. Your choice, I personally hate evade reload, so I take the normal reload in a heartbeat, but evade is technically better, just fucking the ledges and the timing always just messes up. Hate it, hate it, hate it. So we need to compare this to our current normal light bowgun, which is Taroth Blitz support, our good old champ. This thing running our old fashioned rapid fire normal twos at recoil one, fast reload, two close range mods. There's basically no contest here, sadly. Rapid fire normal twos with that clip size and fast reload is fucking insane. It's like 14.5% stronger than Demon Lord Cannon with our spare shot setup here. However, that's not the be all end all. You do have to remember that rapid fire shots cannot change the trajectory and it's very difficult to maintain perfect shooting on a monster with rapid fire shots. So even though the Demon Lord on paper has lower total effective raw by comparison, in practice it should almost be as good if not just a little bit better, you know, if actually aimed properly. Plus the bigger single hits will make it much easier to count staggers and setups. I mean I would definitely encourage anyone to give this thing a try if you're interested in light bow guns. Evade reload is fun if you don't mind ledges. Also do note that while this is good for normal normal ammo standards, it's definitely not going to beat spread, pierce, or even elemental with the Latron light bowgun on most monsters. It's more for the sake of being comfy, but god with all the other options light bowgun has, I don't know man, it's super niche. I would still give it a try since it's technically a new thing we have, but don't expect it to be the best. Uh, anyway, those are the two new light bowgun setups I've added to my spreadsheet and we just wanted people to make sure that they're aware of them and don't want people to miss out in case they do fix the Demon Lord one. So yeah, good stuff. Thank you all for watching and good luck out there hunters and whatever you may be hunting.